hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali so now in this video tutorial we will uh, as you know that first the user will select all the uh, any course from the available courses so that course will be added here in the selected courses list box so now uh, whatever uh, the courses uh, the user select and it if it is available in the selected courses then all these two courses let's say we will display here on the data grid view so yeah let's do that so go to the visual studio in the previous tutorial we left here so if you have not watched the previous tutorial then please go and watch the first tutorial first so the name of our uh, this uh, grid view is data grid view one so what we want is that uh, whenever the user click on this finalize button then it should display a pop-up uh, or you can say a dialog box and it should ask the user that is are you sure you are uh, that is are you sure you this is your final courses selected courses final selected courses so then uh, after if a user click on yes button then that course courses will be added here in the grid view so yeah let's create a dialog box so we can say message box dot show and let display a message to the user that is are you sure you want to finalize the selected course put a comma here and now let's add a title for this dialog box so the title will be let's say confirmation message and we need to display the message box buttons and that buttons is only yes no and we want to add a display an icon here also so you can say message box icon dot information so yeah that's it now we want to uh, get the result of this yes and no button whenever the user click on any of these button so we can get the result of that uh, by using the dialog result and let's create an object of that by the name let's say dialog sorry for that dialog equals to message box so it will re give uh, return the result that is the yes or no button result and it will store it inside this dialog and now we have to check it using the if condition that is on which button the user basically click so if dialog becomes equals to dialog result dot yes then in that case what we will do and let's say if the user press the no button then what we will do in that case so if the user uh, click on the yes button then we can use the data grid view we are going to display the data on that so we have to specify the data source for that so you can say data source equals to and the data source for this is the dt selected courses uh, table which contain the selected courses and if a user click on no button then we have to display just a message box and we can copy that and we will uh, change it here okay so press that here so now let's change the button to only the ok button and it will be the information icon and let's change this icon to question icon okay because there we are asking a question and let's change this message to please select at least one course so yeah that's it and if you want to change the title for it you can change it so yeah that is all about the data grid view and first let run the app then I will discuss some properties of the grid view also so let's select formal methods then web engineering and now let's click on finalize and here you can see are you sure you want to finalize the selected course yes and here we go alongside with the IDs then the course name which is formal methods web engineering and course duration which is five months and of four months so if I double click on that okay on anyone then you can see I can edit the data here but we do not want this and also you can uh, invisible any of specific column here that is let's say for the security purposes you want to uh, invisible the course ID column along with all these data so yeah how we can do that so first of all uh, for the to disable the editable feature for that we can simply say data grid view dot enabled equals to false so now you uh, a user will not be able to edit any information in the grid view and to invisible uh, any column from the grid view you can simply write here data grid view dot column 
and that uh, all we're gonna need is to pass the columns number and that column is at the zeroth position which is our basically course ID column and we want to make it invisible so you can simply write visible equals to false so now that column will be uh, invisible and also let's uh, dot row reader visible sorry it is row header visible equals to false and first let run the app so that we can discuss the further feature so let's add all courses and let's display it okay so you can see that is uh, the course id uh, column is disabled now i mean it is not visible and also if you double click on any uh, course name or any row here you can see you a user is not able to edit any course from the grid view and now what about if you want to increase the size of uh, these columns okay i mean we want that uh, up to here so for that what i'm going to do is uh, after that here i can simply write data grid dot columns and we have a second column which is the course name by using the width property equals to and here you specify the width that is let's say i'm going to write 700 and the same you can do for the second one that all we're going to need is to change this to two and now let's run the app to see what happens so here you can see that but it is too much let's uh, decrease the size a little bit to 350 let's say and also this one to 500 let's say so now let's run the app click add all finalize and here we go i mean this is incredible this is perfect so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now